today I'm going to teach you how to set up your own um, macros or calories to lose weight. So our candidate today is a 150 pound female. She trains three to four times a week. So this is how I would set up her diet for just a generic person. Now take into consideration that if you are my one-on-one -on -one client, there's a lot more that goes into this. This is a very generic formula. So this is something that um, you can use on your own, but this is not exactly how I figure my nutrition clients that we go into way more detail. I find out a whole lot more information about them. So this is generic. This is not what I would do with you if you are my personal client, but this is the way that you can do it for yourself. So let's get started. So 150 pound female, we are going to times by 14. This is about a generic number. 12 to 14 is a good diet to multiply um, by your body weight. 14 to 16 is a good maintenance. And 16 to 22 is a good gaining phase. So those are just generic numbers. Like I said, everybody is different, but this is what we're gonna use for today's video. So we're gonna use 14. I like to start a little bit higher. It's better to start higher and go down than start too low. So we're gonna start this 150 pound female at 2100 calories. So to figure her macronutrients from her calories, so her protein we're gonna figure out one gram per pound of body weight, and that is 150 grams. There is four calories per gram in each protein, so that gives us 600 calories. So 150 grams times four gives us 600 calories. We're gonna figure her fat at 150 times 0 0.4. 0 0.4 is just a good hormonal number to figure your fats off of. I like to say between 0.35 and 0.4 um, depending on your weight that you're at right now. So we're gonna go with 0.4, that's 60 grams of fat. Fats have nine calories per gram. So 60 times nine equals 540. So we have 600 calories tied up in our protein, 540 calories tied up in our fats. So carbs is what's left over. So we take the, the two numbers here, that equals 1140. We're gonna subtract it from the total number of calories. That equals 960 calories for carbs. We're gonna divide that by four because carbs have four calories per gram and that's where we get 240 grams of carbs. So her macronutrients would be 150 grams of protein, 60 grams of fats, and 240 grams of carbs. Now this is what I would have her do to start out with. We would do this for anywhere from two to four weeks, very consistent. Consistency means hitting those numbers within five to 10 grams plus or minus. If we're doing that, we're tracking our weight at least five times a week and averaging it. So if we're trending down over the two to four weeks and we keep trending down in our weight, there's nothing we need to change. We just need to keep hitting those numbers until we plateau for anywhere up to like three to four weeks. So give yourself time. Don't adjust your macronutrients too quickly. That can put you into very low calories too quick then you can hit a plateau and have nowhere to go and be starving and then we start binge eating. So stay at those ranges for three to four weeks. Be consistent. If you're not consistent, then you can't blame anybody but yourself. So be consistent for three to four weeks. That's 80% of the time hitting your macronutrients or more. So if your weight is staying the same, then we can cut those calories down about 250 calories so we would leave our protein the same. We could cut our fats down to 55 grams and we could cut our carbs down some as well. So you would just figure the 250 if you're gonna take five grams away from your fats, five times nine, subtract that from 250, then whatever's left over, you would divide by four and take that away from your carbs. So now, like I said, this is for a 150 pound person training 
strength training three to four times a week. So if you have anywhere from 30 to 100 pounds to lose, this is gonna look a lot different. So we are going to use eight to 10 as our calorie multiplier. Um, your protein is going to be set lower at about 0.8 per pound that you are right now. So say you're 220 pounds right now, we're going to multiply that by 0.8 to get your protein. Um, also, when your fats will start a little bit lower there, 0.35 is the lowest I like to go with my clients. So I would start you there. Um, and then if you're new to macro tracking, then the best way to approach this is to start with the 80-20 rule. Start getting more whole foods 80% of the time and fun foods 20% of the time. Once you've plateaued from that, so remember plateauing is anywhere up to four weeks of your weight staying the same, then we can go to the 90-10 rule, which is a little bit more whole foods and a little less fun foods. Then we can go to complete macro tracking. And if you just wanna dive into macro tracking, that's awesome. I have a free course on how to track your macros and how to use MyFitnessPal. So if you're interested in that, um, just let me know. But remember that this is just a generic calculation. Yes, it can work for you, but the, the accountability of having a one-on-one -on -one coach and someone there to overlook what's going on and to see what your biofeedback is doing, you know, seeing how your sleep and your stress and your relationships, how those things are going. It's really important to pay attention to those things um, when you're dieting. So it's really great to have a one-on-one -on -one coach that can watch over everything and adjust when adjustments are needed. But sometimes that's just not feasible for all of us. So this is why I wanted to give you some calculations that you can figure up yourself and start tracking your macros yourself. So if you use this calculation and you need help, just reach out to me. I would love to help you. And like I said, go get my free macro tracking course so you can get jump started in your diet before the holidays.